In this video, we will continue with Remember the Flowers. With the below, the sun's rays peer through the few cracks of the train car. It's just enough light to slowly wake, wake me up. The worst way to wake up. It feels weird to miss my alarm clock. I'm going to be pretty drowsy today. The loss of blood doesn't help. Oh right, I lost a lot of blood, didn't I? I slowly sit up in the makeshift bed Cooper set up for me and examine my right hand. Yep, that's a lot of damage. What? I almost forgot he was there. I'm not used to waking up in the same room as him. Oh, just talking to myself. Okay, weirdo. How are you feeling? If I'm in pain, I can't feel it, so I guess I'm fine. You so take it easy for the day. We're going to be dropping you off tomorrow. Wait, what? Tomorrow? Yep, one of my contract one of my contacts got in touch with me last night. We're going to to rendezvous in one of the cities near resume instead of dropping you off there myself. Uh, oh. Well, that's really sudden. It is. It's an awkward silence. I think there's something we both want to say. I don't have the courage to not yet. Thankfully Cooper breaks the silence. It'll be fine. I know they'll take great care of you. How do you know? I've been in this business for a long time. Can you tell me what I should expect? Not anything more than you know, I'm afraid. Which is next to nothing. Afraid so sorry. It's fine. It's not his fault. Doesn't help with my anxiety, though. Sorry. For what? I clutch my chest as my heart starts to pound. You can probably sense that. I can. Sorry. It's okay. Who gets up to come sit next to me? You'll be fine. I sit against the wall for a while. Yeah, I'm trying not to be so obvious. I wanted to work on my poker face per Cooper's suggestion, but I guess I'm failing. Although at this point, I'm too tired to try and feign any semblance of confidence. I'm scared. You sure I can't, you sure I can't just stay with you? I'm sure. Cooper shoots down the notion rather quickly. They just hunt us down if we ditched. I like you, Silas, but I have to look after myself, too. I get it. Sorry. It's okay. It's not. But what can I do? He's just following orders. It says, but I don't want him to get in trouble because of me. So I just sit here and sigh. Like I always do. Hey, come on. We got a whole day left. We might as well make the most of it. At least he's trying. He's right. I still try to think positively. What do you have in mind? This train has a few rest stops along the way. I figured we could get out of the car and stretch our legs a bit. He usually stops for about an hour to refuel at least once a day. You see, you sound well traveled. At say this is my seventh time sleeping in this exact car. I guess it's an improvement to a random alleyway. Glad to hear you think so. Cooper lets out a yawn and I can't help but follow his lead. It's not as comfy as a, as a bed though. I don't know, this bed you made me was pretty serviceable. That's cause it's probably the first bed you slept on in who knows how long. Damn, got me there. We both chuckled. I miss bantering like this. Do you have any plans once this is all over? Hmm. I have some ideas. Like what? Can you keep a secret? I can certainly try. I'll take it. First things first, I'm planning to move away to another center. Oh? Once the friends escorted you, they promised a good sum of money. I want to at least improve my living situation. Oh, well, I'm glad. Just being in your apartment for a few days had me worried, to say the least. I'm not surprised. It's not exactly the most glamorous way to live. It's really not. You might want to consider another line of work, though. He will look so at the ceiling. I think he's giving that some thought. I don't know. I've been a freelancer for years now. Not sure I'd do well with a standard job. 
You've been a mercenary for how long? Maybe like six years? Well, you, if you can handle work like this for, for that long, you could probably work in an office or something. Man, the thought of working in a uniform gets me hugs. Oh, come on. You look good in a suit, I bet. Hmm. And hear his tail swift against the floor. Maybe I'll give it some thought. Do it. You deserve to live a good life. Not so sure about that, but it's nice that you think so. Not so sure about that, but it's nice that you think so. Good as much as he pulls out, pulls up his axe in window. Although if all goes well, I could take a pretty long way for Dwayne Jobs, maybe a decade or two. That doesn't sound very responsible, but sounds very mean. And don't give yourself enough credit. You've been taking excellent care of me these past several days. That's no, no, don't downplay it. See, we've been a bit aggravated from time to time, but who could blame you? I don't think it's easy for anyone to deal with freelance work, especially escorting someone who has amnesia, no less. People try to speak up, but I can tell you, you might think it's no big deal, but what you're doing is very dangerous if you still know how to have a good time. That kind of thing wears on someone. You think if you can do this for more than half a decade, you can find yourself a better job that's worth your time. I exhale as I finish my spill. Not something I was expecting to do right when I woke up. A couple looks away, it was the back of his head before sighing loudly. Oh, think about it. I appreciate it. He was trying to be humble, but the sound of that thumping tail was giving him away. You're welcome. Now, what should we do for breakfast? My passing sandwiches. This is not going to be as long. Feel free to eat some more. I wouldn't want the extras to go bad. Sounds good to me after yesterday. I won't turn down some extra food. I don't blame you. You took a nasty hit, along with losing a decent amount of blood. I tried to tell you I wasn't ready to have a weapon. I say with a bit of exasperation as I unwrapped the sandwich Cooper handed me. That's fair, I still have given you a crash course on how to properly hold a knife. But if you had unlocked the gun, I probably wouldn't have needed to use it. First off, we didn't even use it. Second off, he pauses. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. I still turned your gun on. I get some childish satisfaction over being white. See, I'd rather not dwell on this anymore than I have to. We are all worked out in the end. Guess so? I just hope my employers don't get too pissy about your hand. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. It'll be fine. That's not really what I'm worried about. Now, come on. What are they gonna do? Think you hurt, think you hurt just my hand? I'm sure they'll understand if we just tell them what happened. You'd be surprised, they're pretty protective. Oh yeah, you'll see soon enough. Like I said, they'll take good care of you. I hope so, I'm kinda tired of life or death situations. You and me both, you get used to it. I'd rather not. The funny thing about life is that sometimes you don't have a choice. Can't argue with that, I guess. I swear as I take a bite of my sandwich. Tastes like spam. I forget y'all got spam here. It comes in handy and keys for a long time. Apparently so. Spam would be the kind of food to transcend space and time. Hey Cooper, what kind of, what kind of place is Rezu? Who was follows his food to try to speak, but I quickly ate something. Don't say classified. Jeez, I wasn't. Well, I was. But I can tell you some stuff, I guess. Like what? It's kind of creepy. I don't really like it there. That sounds encouraging. Well, to be fair, it wasn't meant for people like me. You'll just be there. You'll just be fine. They guarantee it. Hmm, creepy, huh? That certainly piques my interest, considering that that's where I'll be staying, apparently. So what makes it creepy? You're a tough guy, that means it's pretty weird over there. Hmm, the, how, to put, how to put it in a way that doesn't get me, get me in trouble. He thinks to himself for a bit before waving his hand. Hmm, it's just not right in some ways. I uh, mean, they do a lot of good, but they got some steady things going on behind those walls. Walls? Oops. But yeah, it's pretty fortified. I guess it's more accurate to, to call it a dome. And that's impossible to break in. 
Yeah. So it's about like a facility in the city. Is there a reason they're like that? It is. Wisdom is well known for housing one of the leading medical facilities on the planet. Even I'll admit that if it wasn't for them, society as we know it wouldn't have survived the seven stars. Oh yeah, I guess it's a pretty, that is a pretty important. Indeed, on the flip side, I think some of the operations are coming. But again, I think they're necessary. Oh well, whatever gets me paid. That is also pretty important. Glad you think so. I knew you were a smart guy. I try. I was halfway through getting my doctorate. Went to school? Oh yeah. That explains a lot. What does? I didn't really go to school. Cooper says it like it's no big deal. Oh, why? It's not super prevalent around here. They teach you to read and type as, as the bare essentials. After that, you're pretty much on your own in terms of education. Is that normal? Cooper scratches the back of his head. Someone's got a lot of questions today, huh? I don't know what else we could be doing now besides chatting. I hate that you're right. I usually am. Oh yeah, that explains your cooking. I said usually, not always. I can see that. We laugh at that. Cool wolf was in my hair again. Stop! I try to pay it all back down. Don't be just a stick in the mud. That's a common way for canines to show affection. Not sure I particularly want your affection. Deal with it. I grumble as I continue to flatten my hair. For messing up my hair, I'd like you to answer my question. Cooper sighs your annoyance. I'm right, fine. I guess that's a fair trade. Cooper clears his throat and sits up some more. Is, is not getting an education normal? Yes or no? It honestly just depends, if, depends on if your family can afford it or not. Sounds about right. Cooper smirks and continues. We didn't have much money. Some kids who sold problems got their education extended, but most of us got stuck with learning the basics. Some kids? Damn, that's some serious favoritism. Although I don't know the circumstances, I, I don't know the circumstances. I shouldn't judge their actions. That's a crappy situation for your parents to be forced into. I'm sure they have wanted to get. That's what they had wanted you to get in education too. Cool of surprise, huh? Huh? What? Oh, Cool of size and rubs the back of his head. What? Look, surprise you're not gonna eat. You're not gonna get all. Three <laughs> <laughs> hunts. I can see that. We we'll laugh at that. Cooper Wolf is my hair again. Stop! I try to pair it all back down. No beast is a stick in the mud. Does it come away for keen eyes to show affection? Not so I particularly want your affection. Deal with it. I grow as I continue to flatten my hair. For mess up my hair, I'd like you to answer my question. Cooper starts to annoyance. Alright, fine. I guess that's a fair trade. Cooper clears his throat and sits out some more. Is not getting an education normal? Yes or no? It honestly just depends on if your family can afford it or not. Sounds about right. Keep up smokes and continues. We didn't have much money. Some kids who sold problems got their education student, but most of us got stuck with learning the basics. Some kids, damn, that's some serious favoritism. Although I don't know the circumstances, I certain judge their actions. That's a crappy situation for your parents to be forced into. I'm sure they have wanted you to get education too. People look surprised. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Oh. Cooper sighs and rolls the back of his head. What? Well, despite me, you're not gonna get all worried about me over this. Um, over what? I was adopted. He states plainly. I'm late before trying to continue. Cooper interrupts me. And before you get the wrong idea, I don't really care. I made peace with it. My folks didn't want me. That's fine. I wouldn't want kids either. Well, now, this certainly took a turn. Well, well, slow down for a second. Hmm? He's looking as nonchalant as ever. That's a lot to dump on at once. Are you sure you're okay? It's a sad not to worry about it, but I've done this speech for years. 
Seriously, Silas, it's fine. Uh, if you say so, it's cute that you want to help people so bad. Please don't refer to me as cute. I scratch my nose at that. Close. Cooper chuckles. Fine, fine, but still, look out for yourself more. You got a hole in your memory, not to miss your head along with a mangled hand. That's not even talking about everything else you got going on. I'm the least of your concerns, bud. Like I said, we're probably not going to see each other again after all this. No need to get so attached to me. Easy for you to say you're the only person I know around here. You'll meet other people. Maybe your memory will come back and you'll remember all sorts of people from around here, you know? I'm not from around here, you know? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess you'll, you'll be pretty lonely over there then. Thanks. Anytime. How the face of annoyance. But again, I'm going to miss bands like this. Actually, it's not just that. I think it's... I think I'm starting to realize that I'm going to miss being around him in general. And he can be a bit crude, but he's also pretty sensitive when something's wrong. I think he's trying, at least. Who will prove me right almost immediately. Just aside, you'll be fine, Silas. I hope so. What are you so scared? No, I know. I don't know what anything around here is. It's just about to... You're just about to set the only semblance of safety I have. Don't oh, flatter me. If anything, I'll just drag you into danger. Give yourself some credit. You let me, a stranger, stay in your home. You even fed me. That was... I don't think all that was in your job description. I think you're just a good guy, even if you're a bit of a dick. Good to flicks his ear. I can hear a stress from his tail as well. Hmm. I'm just doing what I'm getting paid to do, that's so. all. Well, even so, thank you for caring for me. Whatever. Cooper is the one to have this time, along with looking a bit dejected. Seriously, I don't need any things at all. Don't mention it. It's like we both have problems giving ourselves credit. Whatever you say. I still appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Cooper grumbles before stressing his arms a bit. Oops, I guess that conversation was a bit heavy. The six of topics was something that's sappy. I snort. Uh-huh, like what? Well, to be honest, I was curious about your name. Cyrus? Your whole name, dummy. Cyrus Gallahan Contra, right? Oh, yeah. What about it? I never heard of a name like Gallahan or even Cyrus. I'm not surprised they're not exactly common names back home either. Do they have meaning? Kind of. I always thought it was a bit embarrassing, though. Who cool snorts? Why? When my name and middle name were borrowed from characters my parents liked. Characters? Like from a story? Basically, do y'all have video games here? Yeah, I think so. I never played them, but I knew someone who did. My dad named me after a video game character. Nothing wrong with that. I know. It's, is it, it is kind of sweet, but I don't know. The idea of being named after a video game character makes me cringe a bit. I guess it sounds cooler than Cooper, though. I th I pick something else if I could. Oh come on, Cooper's a perfectly serviceable name. Thanks, I guess. Of course. Hmm. Anyway, Galahad was named after a character in an old story, The Legend of King Arthur. So was impressive. I guess I think Galahad would be a cooler first name than Cyrus. I can see that it definitely sounds more interesting. I agree my mom was a huge history buff. She used to read me a bunch of older literature when I was little. Cooper pauses for a moment before smiling. That's sweet. Yeah. I miss her. I can imagine. I'm sure you'll see her again one day. Hopefully. Cooper reaches out, reaches up to my hair again, but instead of messing my hair, he opts to just pet it. There, there, a lonely human. I'm not that lonely. Who fooled me? I've never had an score T get so attached. I still don't think that's a word. Guess you never know. Hmm, is that bad though? I don't mind considering you a friend. You were grimaces. You need better standards. For all intents and purposes, this is just a job, but. But. You were grimaces. I guess I don't mind considering you one of my best score T's ever. Congrats, you get the Score T of the Year Award. Well, thanks, I'm honored. 
We both laughed. In all seriousness, I think it would be best for you to try and forget me once all this is over. I just leave you to more trouble than you know what to deal with. No, really? <laughs> Very funny. We have to be fair, you're making it hard for me to not get attached to you. I guess that's my fault. I'm just so irresistible. You know, on second thought, maybe I can live without you. Now you're getting it. I want my eyes Jesus, such a loser. Come on. I'm suicide. I'm not someone you want to mess with for too long. And well, I'm sure I could handle it. Sorry, just being honest. That's the first. We laugh again together, although this time is, so, it's bit, it's bit sweet. There goes our plans to have fun, to have fun, to have fun time today. It's quiet for, for a little while. I'm sorry to reflect on some of our previous interactions. It makes it outside, you know, I don't really get you. Is that so? You keep telling me to forget about you, yet you keep telling me fairly personal experiences that's pretty kind of dead to me. Cooper looks confident for a moment, like he's just realizing how flip floppy he's been. Hmm. I guess it's just because you're easy to talk to, more so than your friends. I don't have that many friends. Wonder why. <laughs> Cooper says dryly. I can't help but laugh. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hmm. You were saying? I was saying you were. You're pretty easy to talk to. There's something about you. What's that something? Man, for stars, you're more or less the reason I get to start a new life. How lucky of you to stumble upon an anesthetic man who's wanted. I know, right? That was sarcasm. I'm aware of that. It's still true. Finding you really was one of the best things that ever happened to me. He looks absolutely ecstatic about the situation, but he tries to cover it back up with his usual stone face. Sorry, just thinking about all the things I'll be able to I'll be able to get to do after this job is making me excited. Job, huh? You know, that's fine. At the end of the day, this is just a job for him. Who am I to take that away? If going along with if this helps him in the end, then it'll be worth it. He was so upset at the thought of being alone after everything. Cooper interrupts my thoughts again by placing a paw on my head. You're going to be fine, but you know, I'm going to keep repeating that since you can't get through your thick skull. But, I quibble, it's hard to build up my confidence. I'm still hoping at some point Diana busts in to save the day, or David comes to carry me away from all this. Who was at the top of my head? I don't stop him. Despite how skeevy the facilities and reservoir, I know for a fact that they're going to take care of you. You promise? I do. I sat on the side before leaning back against the wall. I'm really, really trying. I know. It's just, I know. Cooper moves his paw down to my shoulder and pulls me in closer. I smell his vanilla lace fur. I pause before looking up at him. Despite the bold move he just pulled, his twisting ear is giving away his best is giving away how bashful he really is. Cooper clears his throat before continuing. <clears throat> it won't be long, but I'll be your friend till this is all over. How's that sound? God he's so corny. Nevertheless, I appreciate the gesture. Yeah, thanks, Cooper. I think I'll take you up on that. Just know that I'm quite the handful. Oh, well, oh, I'm well aware. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'll admit it. This is nice. His fur is actually quite soft, and the familiar scent is really putting my mind at ease. This is really nice. If it wasn't so early in the morning, I could definitely take a nap like this. It's about noon, bud. Oh. Yeah, you start in pretty late. This is the one day I wish I didn't. Oh yeah? Yeah, I like to spend as much time with my friend as I can. I can hear Cooper grow like that. Yeah, don't push your luck. I try not to. Cooper rolls his eyes. Hmm. He leans us back against the wall. We sit in silence. The movement of the train is actually quite pleasant, slowly walking us back and forth together. 
From time to time, I take the sweet glances at Cooper. He's smiling. I can help but do the same. I can do this. I have to. Missy Cooper breaks the silence. Hmm. Hmm? I don't have an idea on you, do, do you? Why? Would I? You know, you're right. That was a dumb question. Kind of, but why do you ask? Well, Cooper flips his ear and scratches the side of his face. I wanted to try to whistle you in, in my ass him, but you need an ID to make it work. Why? I wanted to show you some stuff to pass the time. I think there's some kind of game on here too. Yeah, I'd love to play some solitaire right now. What's that? A card game for lonely people. Sounds riveting. You'd be surprised. He was fights through some of the screens. They're still pretty blurry for me. Yeah, no, I don't think I can. With how advanced the, tech, the tech is, I'm surprised how limited it can be. What do you mean? Y'all have phones? Yeah, the Anselm has one built in. Sounds about right. Like I always can't do the whole screen projecting thing, but they have a built-in camera you don't need to, like, register in it. That doesn't sound very safe. I mean, I guess sometimes several attacks happen, but they weren't that common. Strange. What? Just think about your memories. The things you remember are so mundane, yet the important events of your life are still blank. It's really annoying. I bet. Still, I guess it has the. I guess it has the positives. I'm sure there are some memories not worth remembering. God knows I have some I wish I could forget. Right? Hmm, good tip. Can't blame me for trying. No, no, I can't. Keep on chuckles before passing me some more food. Eat. You got a long road ahead of you. I take out. I take it out of the wrapping and spread it down the middle before handing half to Cooper. Same to you. Cooper smiles. Thanks, Ty. I think I bite out of my half. No problem, Cooper. We start to eat in silence. Well, mostly silence. I hear Cooper's tail thumping again. Several hours go by. Cooper moved to the side of the car to work on his ass hill. I've been writing in my I've been writing in the journal he got me. It hasn't been a week since I've woken up here, but I already have so much to write about. Like Martha back in Tensia. Or spent back in whatever that place is called. I hope that I can travel again once all this is over. I slowly I'm slowly making peace with the idea that I'm far away from home. Very far away. Have to be realistic and understand that I might not ever make it back. That's not a happy thought, but it'll solve the blow if it proves to be true. I hope it doesn't come to that, though. Uh, now I'm making myself sad again. It's hard not to have a not to have that mindset. I want to find out whatever happened to be a resume. I need for the weeks under the back of my shirt, feeling one of the pores of my spine. Touch these things still makes me sever, which is understandable considering they shouldn't be there, period. Write about the strange offices in my journal, trying to figure out what the hell I was attached to. Whenever I do, my mind just gets all fuzzy. It gets me worried in a whole new way. Is it so traumatizing that I forgot about it? Is it even worth me remembering? Okay, okay, calm down. No need to spiral. Or something, th let me spell some theorizing. Hmm. What if? Hey, Cooper? Hmm. He doesn't look up from his answer, but his ears perk up and turn towards me. Can you look at something for me, real quick? Cooper raises a brow before turning his head toward me. What? Let me just. I take out Cooper's jacket for a moment and then turn around so that I'm sitting with my back towards him. Do you have any idea what these are? I slowly lift up my shirt to give Cooper a clear view. I hear a quiet gasp, but I don't turn around. Cooper doesn't respond, so I have to. Put my shirt down and look at him. He looks stunned, almost scared. Uh, Cooper? Dude, you like scaring me. Sorry. I was expecting to see that. 
Now I'm getting worried. See what exactly? Give us another sensation here. Alright, it's nothing. It just looks p kind of painful. Maybe a good thing I can't feel it, though. Good thing indeed. I can hear him give a quiet growl before going back to typing on his accent. He looks angry. I will reluctantly leave him be. This just leaves me with more questions than answers. Yeah, my head's starting to hurt again. I want to go home, wherever that might be. I keep scribbling in my journal, not really writing anything coherent at this point. Just visiting of myself. I wish I had my phone or something. Mom would tell me to read a book if there wasn't any technology, but I don't even have that. What did she do when she was younger? The early 2000s had some phones, I think. So maybe, for once I'm glad I'm going on an internal tangent. I'm tired of thinking about stressful shit. So tired that I think that I'm going to take a nap. Didn't intend to waste what little time we have left together, but all these mental gymnastics left me exhausted. Gotta take a nap, I think. Mm hmm. Give a question response. I put his jacket back on. I'm pleasantly reminded of the vanilla scent. It's one of the last things I, I have before I take an, an afternoon nap. I'm not sure how long I've been asleep before Cooper wakes me up. Psh. We're coming up on the west top. Let's go stretch our legs. Ugh. Sorry I don't speak on the matter Pia. Cooper carefully lifts me up while I'm still half asleep. Damien. I snap awake. I mean Cooper. Cooper snores before setting me on my feet. Cyrus, shut up. I didn't say anything. Yeah. Cooper Snickers. I used my hair to block some of my face. God, this is embarrassing. I see the grogginess out of my hair. Yeah. What are we doing? The train stop. I won't. It won't move for a while. So I thought we'd go and look around. Uh, the final while. At least thirty minutes. It's usually an hour but you were still sleeping. That's why I woke you up. I don't know if it's a good idea to leave. We'll be close by, so we'll be within sight. At least come and stretch your legs a bit. I'm glad you've been resting, but you still move around too. Mm-hmm. I'm not buying it. Is there another reason? Well, hmm? I could use some help. Well, hang on. Come on, I'll help you out. I quote for real this time. Fine. Don't worry, it will, it'll be worth it. I'm sure it will be. I stumbled to let Cooper take me out of the car. Once again, he's right. Being able to stretch and walk like this is quite nice. My bones are probably like usual, thankfully, in a good way. I get the feeling Cooper wants help with something weird. Maybe because Cooper's looking at the ground while walking. Like he's looking for something. What are you doing? He's pointing his snout to the ground. Trying to find something with his nose. Hang on. I'm gonna stop here for a day. We'll continue with Remember the Files next time. So, that was a nice scene there where they were traveling on the train and they got to talk more about themselves with each other. Like Cooper just told Cyrus that he's adopted and that his parents didn't want him. I don't know why maybe this didn't, didn't want the responsibility. I guess. So, Cooper, I mean, Silas really does consider Cooper to be a friend. And every time Silas 
tells Cooper that Cooper just seems to sue him down and tell him that he's not his friend or he's not somebody that he really should be with and that it seems that Cooper really wants Cyrus to forget about him once he goes to his home. I don't know why, but I guess he's not the type that likes to be with friends. I guess he's more like a solitary type, and he just likes to be alone. That, that could be why. So, I didn't see that two of them got to talk to, them, talk to each other about their history and what they did when they were younger and and how Silas got his name for his parents. And Cooper kept saying that Resum is a good place and that they'll take good care of Cyrus, though he did admit that they, were, that they do do some shady things there. And when Cyrus took off his shirt and Cooper saw those ports on his back, he was shocked. And he was really stunned and he got really angry when he saw those ports on his back, so. Apparently, what Cooper, what Silas has on him is not normal, or it's something that Cooper has never seen before, and he's really st stunned when he saw that, and he got really angry because, because that was something that should not have been done to Cooper, should not have been done to Silas, so at least that's what he... he that's what I thought he thought we got angry when we saw those ports on Cooper. I mean, Silas. I keep getting their names mixed up. So, we'll continue next time. I think either the next video or the video after that, either one will end up in the point where. Cooper will have to drop Silas off because they're not, he's not actually going to take him to Rizum, but instead he's going to take him to a place where people will pick Silas up and then take him to Rizum. So either in the next video or the video after that we'll see that scene and both Cooper and Silas will have to say goodbye and go their separate ways. So all the information for the game is in the description box below. Thank you all very much for watching. Goodbye.